family in today's video i am going to show you how to make your own dht blocker at home this treatment helps to reduce shedding it also helps to increase your hair growth rate and prolong your growing phase of your hair growth these are two simple ingredients that you can just pick up from your grocery store and trust me these ingredients work our first ingredient we will be using is our coffee. I'm using 100% coffee. If you are familiar with my channel, then you know that I use coffee a lot on my hair. It helps to block DHT and it also helps to reverse alopecia. Alopecia is caused by a hormone which hinder our hair growth. And coffee is a great ingredient to battle that problem. So all you will need is your 100% ground coffee. I will be going in with a two tablespoon of our ground coffee. If you want your treatment to be more potent, then you can go in with a three tablespoon of that. But I find two tablespoon is just perfect for my mixture. Our next ingredient is our green tea. I am using kombucha green tea. It also has some caffeine in it, which is great because we want the caffeine that is in the coffee and the green tea. Apart from kombucha having caffeine in it, it also consists of many vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. So I'm just going to open up our one tea packet and then I'm going to also add it to our measuring cup. We are going to add in about two cups of hot water and then we will just leave this for about an hour. Let it just steep. If you are rushing, you can leave this for 30 minutes. It will also be okay. After an hour, we will come back and we will start to screen our coffee. Hair follicles damage occurs gradually eventually leading to thinning and baldness. But according to research, the caffeine in coffee can help stimulate hair growth and stop hair loss. It reduces shedding and makes your hair stronger and less prone to breakage and damage. According to a 2007 laboratory study, found that caffeine helped block the effects of DHT in both male and female hair follicles. It stimulated the hair shaft elongation, resulting in longer, wider hair roots. There are various steps you have to follow when you want to use coffee as a rinse on your hair. Coffee will make your hair stronger. So therefore, I love to pre-pull my hair first. And then after that, I will shampoo my hair to clean my hair and scalp to remove and then build ups before I apply my coffee tea rinse on my hair. With regular use, you will notice your hair is growing faster. The caffeine in coffee blocks a hormone that causes hair loss and allows your hair to remain in its growing cycle longer than normal. You can use coffee ground once or twice a week. Caffeine also improves the blood circulation to your scalp, which in turn allows for nutrients to reach your scalp more effectively. This results in a quicker and healthy hair growth. Further research by Dr. Tobias Fischer has even shown that caffeine speeds up the hair growth cycle and increases the length of hair. If your hair appears dull, brittle, and dry, surprisingly, rinsing your hair with coffee can repair damaged hair because it contains flavonoids, which are antioxidants that promote hair regeneration. Your hair shaft can become smoother. This can also relieve frizziness, resulting in hair that's softer and easier to detangle. Caffeine does not strip the head of, your, of the oils, rather it can help your locks retain moisture 
and create a natural sheen. It also increases blood circulation, which helps move nutrients to the hair roots, resulting in healthier and shinier hair. Since we want to reduce shedding and block DHT, I would recommend that you first focus the treatment on your scalp, making sure that you are putting a lot of it on your scalp, and after that, don't forget to also massage it in. The treatment can also be applied down our hair shaft. Just note that it will make your hair stronger, so you will have to go in with a deep condition treatment after. If you are experiencing a lot of shedding and breakage, then I would recommend that you do this treatment two or three times a week. Once you notice that your shedding reduced, you can limit it to once a week. And then just to keep your shedding under control, you can try to use this treatment once a month or twice a month on your wash day routine. After applying the treatment to my entire hair and scalp, I'm just going to give it a really good massage to encourage blood circulation. And then I'm going to put my shower cap on. You can leave this treatment on for an hour. You can also sit under a steamer with it if you want to. If not, after an hour, you can rinse it out and then go and apply your deep condition treatment. So this is how my hair is looking after I rinse the treatment out. As you guys can see, my hair looks shiny. It is bouncy. My curls are tightly, tightly curled together. And my hair feels really, really strong. I can instantly tell that this treatment did work for my hair. So I'm now just going to deep condition my hair with my S Secrets Deep Conditioner. If you are interested in my products, I will leave my website link down below in the description box. And for all those of you who were requesting my original coffee oil, it will be coming out very soon. It is going to be a limited edition, so first come, first serve. Make sure you are supplied to our website. Go on our website and add your email address and we will let you know when it is in stock. Okay, family, so this is the end of today's video. If you love this video, please do not forget to give it a like. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram at Selena Zinchuk and also my business page at ssecrets2018. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.